Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I wanna to talk to you about what happens if you die without a will, because it's not what most people think. Before I get to that though, if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay. So today I wanted to talk about what happens if you die without a will. I have had thousands of conversations with people wanting to do estate plans or that people that have questions about estate plans. And this comes up a lot, a lot more frequently than I thought. So I wanted to talk about it, kind of dispel the rumor and just give you a specific outline of what happens if you don't have a plan. Because if you don't have a will, there is there are some things that happen automatically and uh, the government basically just makes choices for you. But, and this is where the myth is busted, if you die without a will, the government doesn't get all of your stuff. In fact, they get none of your stuff. The only way the government gets any of your assets is if you die without any heirs, without a will, okay? If you have a will or a trust, your assets will just go wherever you tell, tell the world you want them to go whether they are family or friends or charity or whatever, they will go where you tell them to go. If you die without a will though, um, the government has, has sort of set out rules for how things are distributed. Essentially, it's going to go to your family in a sequential order. And if somebody shows up in the order, they get everything, all right? This is the general order, all right? If you are thinking about just not doing anything because you're cool with this order, that's fine. But please go and just confirm that the order is correct wherever you are in the world because sometimes it can be different, all right? So the way it works like this is this. If you are married and you die without a will, if you have separate property, which is property that you brought into the marriage, typically it's going to get split like half will go to your kids if you have them and half of that property will go to your spouse. The community property, which is anything that you earned after you were married or acquired after you were married, goes to your spouse, okay? If you have no kids, everything goes to your spouse. If you, if you have no spouse, everything will go to your kids. If you have no kids, everything will go to your parents. If you have no parents, if they have died, then everything will go to your siblings. If you have no siblings, everything will go to your nieces and nephews. If you have no nieces and nephews, I think everything will go to your, your, your second cousins. I'm not sure exactly where it goes from there. Typically somebody has something in that, that order that I just laid out. Like I said, when you hit a category where there is a person, that category takes everything and you split it equally. So if you had three kids, you would split everything equally amongst the three kids, right? If you had three siblings and you, and you reach the sibling level, they will get it equally, right? But the government doesn't get anything unless you die with no family at all, okay? In that case, you would definitely want to make a will. You'd want to make something. You want to make sure that your assets go to, to a designated person of your choosing. That's the only way they're going to get there, all right? That's it. Hopefully this helped. If it did, great. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. If you have questions about this, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. And if you want to talk more about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you want to talk with us, you can do so over the phone for free by going to cmslawfirm.com. All right. As always, I am Christopher Small. I am the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. And I will talk to you again soon. See ya.